One night I woke up in the middle of the night just profusely sweating. My heart was racing. And I was essentially, as I understand it now, I was having a panic attack. Everything came back. And I don't know why that was the trigger, but somehow that was the thing that brought it, brought it all back. Something major happens, and after that major event, it creates a change in your life. And sometimes most people think post-traumatic stress disorder is directly involved with being in the military, but things that take place in our lives can cause PTSD. It occurs every day, and it happens to so many people in so many different ways, and you just don't label it post-traumatic because you don't think about it as that, not knowing that it's going to cause ripples down your life. You can't see it, and that's the hardest thing. Is you see someone in a wheelchair, you know they're disabled, but you don't see post-traumatic stress. People know it as post-traumatic stress disorder, and the one thing we want to get out there is that it is not a disorder. It is a reordering of the neural networks in the brain. If people could understand that this is a fundamental change to your brain, and you have to deal with it in a totally different way. It's not the flu, it's not cancer, but it's a change that's gonna be with you forever, then your approach to it's different. We do not receive wisdom. We gain wisdom after a journey that no one else can take for us or with us. And that becomes honoring every other person's story. Whatever you went through can be a catalyst for you to grow and evolve into whatever the next step is. I think sometimes when you're in the darkness, it's important that you address it. Yes, you're in the darkness, but don't stay there. Don't build your house there. Know that you're not alone. Know that you, in your own hands, you can create and mold your own life. You can do anything you want to do. You can be anybody who you want to be. There's always hope.